Hello everyone, I'm Alan, also known as McLaren2009, and I recently started playing a game called Wolfpack on Steam. Now I found this to be a very interesting game, it's actually really cool to play, but I've encountered a slight problem that uh, it's kind of hard to describe. Basically, I've seen some issues with diving. For me, there's at least three different ways you can do this. It sounds like all of them work, but I don't know what's actually the correct way to do it. Now, in the three and a half days I've been playing this game, I've had a couple of dives all by myself and with no issues. We go over here to the dive plane controls. Easy enough. Over here on the left we have the forward diving plane, the aft diving plane. Now, all of the like the videos online that I've seen other people playing this game, even the tutorials from the developers themselves, they basically say to angle both planes down like this. And that does in fact work, but the problem that I've been encountering is, in my mind, it makes more sense to have them alternating. Because the way that I'm looking at it, like the arrows themselves and even the gauges kind of indicate which way they're facing. Like to me this indicates that the leading edge is forward, so this is angling the plane down. However, since this one is pointing back, that tells me that we're adjusting the trailing edge. So, to me, it seems like this configuration would push us down. But, like I said, everybody else does it this way. Now, from what I've seen, this method forces the stern of the ship up. I'd prefer to stay level in the water. Now there's also a third school of thought that more or less says don't even worry about the aft dive plane and just use that to make corrections to pitch as you're going down. Now since I'm slightly confused about this, I'm gonna test it. I loaded up the tutorial mission, locked the server so no one else can join, and I am going to attempt to dive the ship using my method, the other method, and the third method, and I'm going to see if it has any effect at all on the rate of descent. So for starters, Let's open up the ballast. I am aware that there's a ship on the surface, but it's the tutorial level, so they're not going to do anything. Now, I'm going to do all three dives using the exact same speed settings because at heart I'm still at least partially a scientist all right forward is full aft is full Now, I have been able to successfully dive the ship using the method that I've described to no issue. But, I've ran into some conflicts with a couple of other players, and then looking at the forums, it seems like this is a highly debated issue. I have no idea why. To me, the 
physics seems to imply that having the planes parallel would keep the ship straight and level and still be pulled down whereas having them alternate puts the ship at a steep angle forces the bow down now in my mind that would speed up the descent but from my limited experience on a ship I think you wanted to stay level unless we were like dying so we're gonna go ahead half make sure the planes are still zero All right. As soon as the needle stops going up, I will get on the dive station. Alright, perfect. So, the first one I'm going to do is what I've been doing. We'll go to 20 degrees down, both planes. Slightly faster than my usual descent, but it should work. As you can see, I'm going down with no problems. As soon as I get to about 13, Now, supposedly, according to the translated book, the Germans would go below the target depth and then rise back up. I haven't intentionally done that, but it doesn't sound like a bad idea. Alright, so if you look at the tilt indicator, exactly as I wanted, we are almost completely level in the water. Now, we're going to go back to the surface using the same method. I guess realistically, in the interest of being thorough, I probably should have used the stopwatch, but I wasn't planning properly. Sorry. Alright, we are back on the surface. Still running at six knots. Now, let's do it the other way. Back down to 20 meters. Angle this down to 20 meters. Now, I will grant you that we do appear to be moving down slightly faster, but as my initial argument also said, we are also tilted forward. <clears throat> now, a different article was saying that 
even all the way back to World War II, American subs prefer to stay level unless they need to do otherwise. But from the quick excerpts that I was reading from the German manual, they didn't specify if you were level or otherwise. Alright, so, just like last time, we will surface using the exact same method as before. Just like last time, we are pitched up. And we surfaced almost instantly. So I would say that, yes, in fact, this method does work if you want to submerge and rise quickly. All right, now for the third and final method, just in the interests of being thorough, we are going to leave the aft bow plane or dive plane neutral. Not going to touch it at all, and I'm going to go down to 20 meters, or 20 degrees down, and see if I can still get under. Because I want to test it this way, because somebody else was making the comment that you do most of the work with the bow plane, and the one at the stern is just to make corrections to pitch. Now I am not a submariner. I was an aviation electronics technician. This isn't even remotely my element. I was on a ship, but I was on a surface ship, and only for three months. So, as cliche as it may sound, I'm a bit out of my depth. So, so far, all three methods, you can, in fact, descend with no problems. So, maybe it's not a problem whatsoever. Maybe we just have different methods or different means to achieve the same end. Every school of thought has gotten the ship submerged. I still feel like I'm doing something wrong, because this seems like it was a rather heated argument. So, who is right, who is wrong, is nobody wrong? Does it just vary between different captains? Like, what's the deal? As I said, I'm not a submariner by trade, so I don't know these things. I've seen a couple of movies, and I was able to figure out how to work this thing within like five, ten minutes. So, I honestly have no idea. But yeah. If anybody actually sees this video or has any insight into what the correct, proper thing to do is, I'm all ears, but in all fairness, I don't have too big of a fewer pace anyway. But that's going to about wrap it up for today, so thank you and goodbye.